Coach, I'm not sure this one was ever in doubt, but you did have a couple of possessions late in the second half that you had a little pressure on. What did you learn about your team? Well, we need to do a better job of executing. I thought we made some poor decisions, had some empty possessions, and even the free throw line. You know, we gotta, if you want to be a championship team, you got to make free throws. You did score 75 points, which is one point above your average. How about the tempo in the second half? Oh, you and your offense. <laughs> um, we'll take it. You know, the more we score, the better. But at the same time, I was a little disappointed in some of our defensive effort. But on to the next one, as they say. Last game, you had six players in double figures. You had another game with great offensive balance. How does that help your team improve as you work towards postseason? Well, I think that's the thing. With us, it's always been about the balance, and um, you know, it's good for us. And obviously, when it doesn't happen, we're in, we're in trouble. So I like the fact we share the ball, and we do a good job of that. All right, Coach, thanks. Thanks, Dad. All right, Tori, big game for you guys, another one that you win at home. You played 40 minutes. It's the first time this season you played 40. How do you feel? Uh, actually, I feel pretty good. Um, during that eight-minute stretch, the first first eight minutes of the game, I, I had to ask coach to come out, and we finally got the timeout. But I've never done that in my life, and I feel pretty good now, but that first half was a struggle. A lot of coaches are going to say you're going to get playing time for playing defense, but I'm going to say it's because you can knock down shots. You had four threes in the first half. What did you see offensively that allowed you to get free? Um, well, KB did a great job distributing the ball, and um, we had a few girls that drove and kicked and uh, I just got open looks and really that's to my teammates if I don't get open looks I'm not gonna be able to hit the shot how about your defensive effort on Rachel Bantam I know you had a couple turns on her defensively how important is it for your team to be able to lock down and take somebody out I mean she's a great player and she still had 31 and we had a lot of focus on her um, I think we really needed to get out on her and make her drive rather than shoot the three I mean two points is for better than us than for three and um, I mean, my defense has been improving, and Coach Merchant, she still yelled at me a few times during the game, but it's got, still got to improve, but it's gotten a lot better since the beginning of the season. All right, Tori, congrats on the win. Yeah, thank you. All right, Clarissa Bell, one of the seniors from Michigan State, having some point guard responsibilities. What's it like from playing on the top of the floor? It's been different um, and difficult, um, but I think that my team has really helped me embrace that role. And when I call out a play, everybody gets their spots as fast as they can so that we can run the offense so I'm not under a lot of pressure. And um, I'm just trying to step into that role. It's been different, and I'm really excited about it, though. Kalesa, you, you mentioned the word role, and you have played a lot of roles here at <laughs> Michigan State. How about your role this year and how it's been able to change over time? Yeah, um, just defensively, I think that that's just something that I've been doing here at Michigan State. And then um, just coming in to be like an assist or passer, set people up, and that's just what I have to do this year. And now I'm stepping into the point guard role a little bit, and um, just something I have to do. Just want to do whatever I can do to help the team. Larissa, one of the things Coach told us before the game is she really likes the big lineup with you at the point and three bigs on the floor. How tough is that for other teams to defend? I think that's really tough when you have um, such a strong presence inside when you have Jasmine Hines and Becca at the same time. And then you have Annalise who could also post up and then she's out on the wing. So um, that's something really exciting. And I know that Coach Merchant loves the big lineup. We go over it and practice all the time. So it's really exciting to see and it worked out here tonight. All right, Clarissa, thank you. Thank you.